Oh no! You just updated the Nintendo Switch's firmware and now you're getting an error message after booting that the game card cannot be read. It says please remove and reinsert but yet it still doesn't work. If this is happening to you, you've come to the right place. What can you do? Never fear, Mr. Game & Tech is here to help you out. Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy, Mr. Game & Tech. Welcome back to another video uh, for your Nintendo Switch here. Um, after my last video I uploaded to show you guys how to update your hack Nintendo Switch to 9.2 from a lower firmware, some of you are reporting the error that you see on the screen here where the game card could not be read. Um, even if you try to remove and reinsert your game card, uh, you're still going to get this error message here. So today I'd like to show you guys how you can fix this. So just to show you what happens when you get this error message, um, you can basically go to one of your games that requires a game cartridge and if you try to load it, you're going to get an error message as if the software isn't on the console even though you got your game cartridge in correctly. But don't, don't fret, it's not the end of the world. Um, this can be fixed and I'm going to show you how you guys can fix this today. So hang tight, sit back, relax and watch this video here and we'll get right into it. Oh, by the way, if you guys haven't seen my last video on how to update your Switch to firmware 9.2 and Atmosphere 10.5, go ahead and click in the link below and uh, subscribe to my channel and you can find those videos on there. Alright, let me go ahead and get right into it with you here. So the reason why you're getting this error is because the game card reader has a firmware check. Um, it checks against your fuse that's tied to the firmware and if it doesn't match then essentially you get the error messages with your game card. So in order to fix this what we're going to need to do first is we're going to want to turn off our Nintendo Switch and we're going to take out the SD card that has our custom firmware on it. And so go ahead and turn off your Nintendo Switch and take out your SD card and I'll show you what you got to do on the PC in order to make this work properly for you. Alright, so back on the computer, uh, we'll want to go pull up a resource that I always check against, uh, GBA Temp. I can leave the link in the description for you guys if you want to read up on this. But if you look at the third post on the link that I provide you, um, it explains what's happening and why you're getting that error message in regards to burning the Lotus views. Um, this started happening after firmware 9.0 and Atmosphere is handling it through a config file so that uh, you guys don't get that error message. Um, essentially there's a patch that will prevent your game cart firmware from upgrading um, if you apply the patch, you won't get the error message, but you also won't be able to play your game cart. Now, if you disable the patch, then uh, your game cartridge firmware will update to the correct version. And from there, uh, you won't get the error message and you'll be able to play your game cart. So I have the correct value on there right now, so I'll delete it so that my bct.ini file looks more like yours. Uh, this is what it looks like by default. So if you do want to make sure that it's, that you got your um, no game cart patch enabled, you'll want to use the value no GC equals 1. But for us, we want our game cartridge to work, which means we're going to be updating the firmware. So I'm going to go use the value no GC equals 0. So you can go ahead and set that value, save your config file, um, and some of you might have a bct.ini here in the root of the atmosphere folder as well. If you do, go ahead and make those changes in this bct.ini file as well. Um, I don't have it in mind. So we're just going to disconnect our SD card. Uh, we're going to put the SD card back into the Nintendo Switch. And we're going to go ahead and power back on the Switch. Low Tegra RCM. GUI and launch our Fusey primary dot bin payload 
and once that launches uh, we should be going back into our atmosphere custom firmware now the importance of this is that if you do decide to use this fix here keep in mind that it will update your card readers firmware to above 9.0 so if you ever downgrade you won't be able to use the card reader again so just keep that in mind if you're going to use this fix um, for your custom firmware 9.0 and higher so back onto our nintendo switch uh, after setting that config file you'll immediately notice that you're no longer getting the error message that the game card cannot be read and now if i go into my nintendo switch you can see i have a cartridge symbol right there and if i wanted to start my cartridge the cartridge should be working now so that's pretty much it. All you have to do is go into your configuration folder, your config folder inside of the atmosphere folder. Open up the bct.ini file with a notepad viewer um, and add the no GC equals zero value at the end of that file, save it, and then just eject your SD card and put it back into your switch, uh, launch it up with your payload um, using Tegra RCM GUI and launch your Fusey primary payload and once you get into atmosphere your game cartridge should be working again uh, let me go ahead and show you that I'm on the latest version and my game cartridge is working so I'm uh, go back to the main menu here. We'll go ahead and we'll close the software. And if you notice here in my system settings for system, we are running 9.2.0, atmosphere 0 0.10.5. So there you go. Hope this helped you guys out. Uh, remember to go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Nintendo Switch uh, hacking tips. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.